Hey Matterporters, I'm Amir and today I'm going to talk about how you can avoid alignment errors. Every 3D scan you capture with a supported camera is aligned or placed in the proper location relative to other scans. Alignment uses the 3D depth data and 2D pano data gathered from each scan. And alignment can only be successful when there's enough overlapping scan data. When alignment doesn't happen properly, you either get a no alignment error or a misalignment. Most common is the no alignment error. And there are several reasons why you might see it appear. If you're using the Pro 2, one reason could be there's too much ambient infrared light. Unlike with other supported cameras, the Pro 2 uses a pattern of infrared light to capture depth data used for alignment. Environments with too much ambient infrared light from the sun make it very hard for the camera to tell what's actually out there. And as a result, very little depth data is captured. Imagine you're building a puzzle. Every scan position is another piece of the puzzle. If your environment has too much sunlight, direct or ambient, the captured puzzle piece won't get properly built, and therefore you won't be able to connect to the other pieces of the puzzle. Another common reason for no alignment is not having enough overlapping data between scans. The Matterport app has to find enough similarity in the captured data to properly align the scanned positions. And oftentimes this error happens because there's just too much distance between scanned positions. In tight situations, such as around corners and through doorways, even shorter distances are recommended. It's also very important to mark mirrors as soon as possible. Mirrors can cause alignment problems because the app assumes there's actually another room reflected on the other side of the mirror. You may also see a low overlap message. This only means there aren't very many overlapping alignment points, either due to having too much ambient sunlight or the distance between scan positions. But the app was still able to make a connection. In this case, it's important to confirm the scan was correctly placed in the preview window, also known as the minimap, before you move on. Misalignments are much harder to spot than a no alignment or low overlap error because there is no error message. A misalignment can be spotted when a new scan is misplaced in the minimap. This will commonly happen in places with empty or repetitive architecture. For example, a large flat wall in an empty warehouse or a long hallway. It's absolutely critical to fix misalignments early because they can cause the rest of your model to misalign as well. Check the minimap after every scan to make sure it aligned correctly. If a scan appears in the minimap in an incorrect location, you can either delete the misaligned scan or use the realign scan feature to try correcting the mistake. If realigning doesn't work and you need to rescan the position, move the camera closer to a properly aligned position and scan again. Continue scanning and always keep an eye out for future misalignments. In large, empty, or repetitive spaces, you're certainly more likely to run into misalignments. I've added a link in the description for a guide specific to these environments. 